I um, anticipate as our hospitalizations start coming down, and they have been, that somewhere next week, perhaps the week after, we will start seeing deaths come down. Now, the one thing I really want to be very clear of is, while it's generally good news that our case rates are coming down and our hospitalization rates are coming down, um, they're coming down from just an extraordinarily high place. And our current hospital, our current um, cases are still twice as high as the peaks that we've had over the summer. We've probably undercounted deaths. We're counting COVID related deaths in the hospital. There's been so much excess mortality, um, deaths that haven't been counted um, that were COVID related that we didn't realize were COVID related early on. Um, people who have avoided the hospitals because of COVID, um, heart attacks that happened at home because people were reluctant to come in. So I think the death toll from this past year is just going to be extraordinary. It already has been. I need to lead this agency with trust and transparency. I need to make sure that I'm communicating the extraordinary work that the people within the agency are doing. Um, it's, it's not a perfect place, um, but it's an extraordinary place. And um, we will, and we, I think we will admit those places where we may have not um, uh, had, you know, perfect outcomes over the last year. Who's going to be perfect in a pandemic? And we're going to learn and we're going to grow and we're going to be stronger. And in the process, we are going to be dedicated to the health of this nation and importantly, to the equity of health in this nation.